Hello, welcome to ICGTrends.com. I'm Suresh Khanal. Today I'm going to solve the question from MS Word, Group A, Word Processing, from the sample set 6 of Computer Operator Practical Examination. Now the question contains uh, three sub-questions. Three parts of the questions are there from, for uh, Word Processing Group. The first one is to create a document with nine pages and insert page numbers. The first three pages should be number one, two, three. The next uh, three pages should be numbered uh, A, B, C, and the last three pages B, I, 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 I. That means inserting uh, different page numbering formats within a same or single document. The second part of the question is to apply the tab settings to create the given text, uh, some sort of the a name, address, and amount is given on the question paper and you need to create it using the tab settings only without using the tables. And the third part of the question is inserting the hyperlink uh, on a, a given text that will point to uh, the Facebook profile when clicked. So I'm going to solve this question in MS Word 2003. So this is my MS Word and I'm going to solve the first question. On the first question, we need to create a document with nine pages. The first three pages will be numbered as one, two, three. So at first, I'm going to insert the page number, insert menu, and go to the page numbers menu. Uh, choose where you want the page number to appear. It's on the bottom of page, and alignment on the right-hand side of the paper. So click it OK. Your document will be numbered as one here. Hold Control and press Enter. Control Enter to go uh, to break the page here to go to the next page. This became the page number two and press Control Enter again. Now we came to the third page. So up to the third page we have to number it one, two, and three. Now from the fourth page we require A, B, C. So when you are on the third page, when your cursor, when your insertion line is on the third page, go to the Insert menu and Break menu. We need to change the section. Uh, for the fourth page so that we can start a new format of numbering from that page onwards. So on the break dialog box choose next page and then click OK. So this will bring you to the fourth page and the number there right now is 4. So this 4 we need to change into the A, A, B, C, A. So and double click this page number it will take you to the header and footer editing screen. On the footer editing screen, first of all, the important thing you should remember is to remove the link between this section and the previous section. Uh, look at the uh, footer editing screen, just above the boundary box, same as previous, is turned on. And this is the footer for section 2. So the same as previous will cause the same footer header and footer to appear as that of the previous section. So to turn it off, you will click on this button, link to previous. So when you turn it off, the same as previous is disappeared from here. And now this page number four, you should change it to the alphabetical numbering, ABC. So right now it's four. You click it, click on the border, the number will be selected. And go to the uh, format page number button it will open the page number format dialog box and here you choose ABC the numbering is no more 1 2 3 but it's ABC and we need to start it from A again so start at A then click OK this comes as A it's OK now let's see the page on the fourth page the number is A and above on the third page the number is 3. That means it's fine. OK. Now to go to the next page, Control, Shift, uh, sorry, Control and Enter, Page Break. That will give me page B. So again, Control, Enter. And now I came to the page C. Again, now the next page I need is I, 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 and I, I, I. So again, another numbering format. Therefore, I need to insert a section break once again here because I need different header foot of settings. Insert, break, and next page section break. Click it OK. It'll give you page number D, uh, sorry, page number A, the same ABC, but on the different section. It started again. 
Now this A, I don't need it A, but it should be I rather. So double click this to go to the footer editing screen and same as previous is turned on. Click this button, link to previous to turn it off. So link to previous is turned off now. And this A, click on the border, it will appear, the handles will appear there. And then go to the page number formats. So page number format dialog box opens and from here choose I, 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 this format starting at I. It's okay. Click it okay, fine. Go to close this uh, header for the toolbar. Come back to your normal screen. The, the page number is now I. So control enter to break the page. It is I, I now. Again, control enter. So I, I, I. Now I have all together nine pages and the first three pages are numbered one, two, three. The next three pages are numbered A, B, C, and the last three pages are numbered I, 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 and I, I, I. So this way you can solve the first question. After you complete doing it, you can save it on your folder, file, save or save as. On the save as dialog box, my folder is on the desktop, the folder under my symbol number, and I write here the name of your file because the question doesn't ask to provide any particular name for your file. So you can save it as a uh, group A, question number one. So answer uh, to question number uh, group A, question number one. Save and you can close this file now, file and close. And that was for the question number one. Now for question number two, we need to apply tab settings to create following text. Let me start a new document on my MS Word. Click a new button and zoom it so that you can see it properly. Well, to create this uh, text with tab settings, the first there is a, a place for one, two, three the numbers, the, uh, the first column for numbers and on the second column the name this is left aligned and third column address it is center aligned and the fourth column is amount and this amount is not left aligned it is not straight on the left this is not also right aligned it's not straight on the right also and this is not also centered you can see it's not center aligned then this is on the decimal alignment yeah, look at there. All the dots, decimal symbol are uh, straight. So the fourth column is the decimal alignment. I'm using the tab stop box on MS Word and create this text on the on my document. So first of all, what, what I need is here I will need the first column to type one two three, and on my 0.5 spot I need a bar line. For this vertical line, you will choose the bar tab, click on this box until you get the bar button on tab stop box, click it on the 0.5 inch on the ruler, so a bar will appear, press tab to go up to this bar and a little bit after there you need a left align, so let me put a left tab here. Type your name N A M E and towards somewhere on the two inches or two point five inches. I need the bar tab again. Go on clicking this box until you get the bar. And let me put a bar tab at two point five inches and center aligned for the address. So let me take a center tab. This is center tab, and I'll put the center tab somewhere on the three point five inches. So when I type name, press tab to go to the uh, center tab, here type address and I need a bar tab again, somewhere towards the 4.5 inches and I need a decimal tab for the amount, so choose a decimal tab, this one, it looks like center tab with a dot is a decimal tab. I place a decimal tab somewhere here at the 5.5 inches and I need a bar after this decimal tab. 
So pick a bar tab and click on the ruler. So this way you can create it. So after you type address, press tab key to jump to the place where you can type amount and then press enter to go to the next line. To create this horizontal line, you can just type dashes. It creates the horizontal line. Only up to here, it's okay, fine. If MS Word automatically changes your dashes into a smooth line, uh, hold Control Z, press Control Z to come back uh, to cancel that automatic formatting. And now I need here one dot on this zero inch point. Press Tab to go here. Raju Rimal to type it. Raju Rimal address. Lampati Lagan Hill, press tab and amount is $235.653 and press it enter from this point to M A D A N M A N N D H A R, press tab B A T T I S H Batisputali, comma Kathmandu, press tab dollar uh, fourteen point three c the dollars are uh, sorry the dots are aligned there the decimal is aligned tab three dot press tab and here Suresh canal press tab Sunakoti Lalitpur press tab type here dollar full uh, five three two point eight three sorry 83 press enter and on the fourth Aman Maharajan Naya Bazar Kathmandu press tab 4.234 there's no dollar on this number okay this way we typed the text and here we need a double line uh, horizontal line to create the double line we have got equals to so go on pressing equals to okay this must and press enter again MS Word may format it automatically with double lines you can press ctrl Z to leave it as you had typed it and here we need total on the address column press tab tab again and type total and here the number given to enter is dollar four seven eight seven point zero two six and press enter again we need a double line at this point so fine and press enter once control Z to avoid automatic formatting for that line fine this was all uh, the question asked you to create the uh, text with tab stop marks now save this file file save as on the same folder this is the question number uh, a2 save it fine there was a solution for uh, number two question. Now on the third, insert hyperlink on Suresh Canal of question number two so that you will open facebook.com slash sskstnl when clicked. So on this, uh, the same text from question number two, for this Suresh Canal, you need to insert a hyperlink. To insert hyperlink, you have a insert hyperlink button on the standard toolbar or you can right click to open the pop-up menu from where you can choose the hyperlink from the menu also or you can go to the insert button sorry insert menu and choose hyperlink menu to insert hyperlink remember to select the text before you apply a command for the hyperlink and additionally uh, you can press ctrl and k ctrl k also opens the uh, insert hyperlink dialog box so whatever you do when you open the dialog box i press ctrl k and this is my insert hyperlink dialog box. The question asks to create hyperlink for this text Suresh Canal that should open 
the Facebook slash SS canal. This is my uh, URL, Facebook URL for my profile page. So click it OK. Now this Suresh canal, the format turns into the hyperlink. And if you hold control and click this link, it will open Facebook, uh, my profile page on the Facebook. So this was the solution to question number three. And this ends the solution for uh, group A as well. I hope now you can uh, solve the group A part, the word processing part of the sample six uh, correctly. So finally, when you finish uh, solving the third question also, don't forget to save it. Save and close the file. Uh, you are done. And thank you for watching this video.